Greetings. So this is a description of how to do three equations, three unknowns, the most primitive way, really, using MathCAD. Uh, in this case, we're going to use Hooke's Law. So we're going to use elasticity, the common definition for Hooke's Law, as being a set of strains that depend on a set of stresses, a Young's modulus, and a Poisson's ratio. So if we look at this MathCAD worksheet, you can see at this point that there are three equations and three unknowns. This written here, this was just written as a text box. To get a text box, typically all you have to do is type something and enter in a space bar, and it converts it to a, a, a text box. Here I've defined Young's modulus E as being equal to, in this case, 20,000 MPa, or 20 gigapascals, which would be perhaps a, a fairly wimpy composite or a relatively stiff polymer, particularly for room temperature, maybe a polymer well below room temperature, Poisson's ratio of 0.3. Then we have a strain defined. This was actually typed in as E control G dot X. So this is a, a not a, a mathematical, but a numerical assignment for the subscript. And it's equal to 0 0.00012. And the same thing, I entered these two. And these two, you'll notice, are the same. So that should produce some expectation for the answers. When we're trying to do a solution to a system of equations, we need guess values. We're going to be solving for the stresses, and so these are the initial values that I'm asking MathCAT to plug into its solver. As I said, the most primitive version of what, what we use to uh, find a solution is the one we're going to do here. It's a given find block, given and find. So I've just typed the word given here. So it's just a, the word given has just been typed as long as it's entered. Then below, it expects a set of constraints in terms of equations. In this case, I've defined a set of equations using control G, so that's the conditional equal sign, and I've defined the common expressions for Hooke's law, right? We get this, the stresses are on this side, the uh, Young's modulus is here, and the Poisson's ratio is there, and uh, commonly you would have the stresses and solve for the strains. In this case, we have the strains, and we want to solve for the three stresses. We have three equations and three unknowns. The only thing you have to do after entering these equations is then generate a find block. So I'll roll the find block up here. So there's the find block. So what I did was I made a column matrix, right? And in fact, you could just type find. Let me just select it. You could actually just grab this guy and we'll copy it and we'll paste it in there and we'll set an equal sign to it. And it would give you those numbers, right? It's the same, the same idea. But we're not going to worry about that. What I did here was I made a column matrix so I could assign new sigma x, new sigma y, new sigma z. So I assign them to the results of a fine block. And the results of a fine block are a column matrix. And so with the terms given in this list, so it should be three rows in one column. So then I actually I copied this and pasted it here and put a conventional equal sign and it gives me the result telling me about 2 megapascals minus 0.9 megapascals and minus 0.9 megapascals. As always, you can change for your result. If you select the result, you can change the format of the numbers, right? So you go under format and result. We could change the numbers and we could like, change the number of decimal places, for example. All right, let's go to one decimal place there. And then it looks a little bit simpler. So that gives a, a value probably closer to the, the significant figures that we'd actually represent. Just to check to make it sure the answer is right, I actually copied this section here, right? And I pasted it below and followed up by an equal sign. Now it should put the new values of these in and actually give me the result. And that's shown here for each of those. And you'll no notice that those are the same numbers that we started with up here at the top. Right, the same numbers, 6 times 10 to the minus 5, and point zero zero one two. Okay, so that's a simple, easy solution. Three equations, three unknowns, the given, and the fine block. Good luck.